Raj! Welcome to Techie Dads. Something like that. Yeah. Okay, you want, you want to talk about your watch. Go talk about your I watch. I do, because I think finally the watch hit its stride. This is what version 1 should have been, so if you haven't heard, um, that's watch still, that's, OS 3 is now out. Right, but that's watch V1, right? So now it's going to get all confusing. So I'll call this Series 0, the first one that came out. So Apple just came out with Series right. 1 and 2. Which are the newer generations of the watch? There's a nice oh, right, one. Oh, because even the old one got an update, and they're still selling the old that. one's got. A, and you can buy the second one, which now is basically has a GPS and dual core. Which right, is so like, you can't even buy this one anymore. Right, right. Wow, so it's an antique. This well, one's then. got the old CPU in it, basically, um, and does not have GPS. I, why are they selling both the old and the new? So it's like, do you want it's GPS? a price point? Yeah, but you want GPS? You don't want GPS. I'm like. I get they're flooding the market, but just lower the cost. And that you're they did. Flooding. Now they're under right. 300 bucks. Right, but I thought the bands was the way that they were differentiating how you get in and, and what the price points were. They, this is Microsoft. Or the Microsoft. This is Easy. Apple spreading out the price bands, right? So they're getting a little Becoming closer Microsoft. to the Fitbits yeah. and the Microsoft bands who yeah. were nipping at their heels. They got a deal with Nike to make a special one. That one looks actually pretty cool. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. So I think... Anyway. And they went hard after the fitness people. But All anyway... Right. The update. Why did I wait so friggin' long for this thing? Performance always sucked in loading apps and the interface to get at apps. Two things they nailed, right? So now basically, 10 of the common apps that I use all the time stay resident. I hit them, they're up. There's no more hesitation anymore. Because so performance is better. Performance is a ton better, and obviously on the newer watches, it's probably going to be even. So that's worse. interesting how it, it took them this long to fine tune the software to the hardware. Well, it, it sounds like what they did is they, they said, the heck with battery life. We were really conservative before, and now we're going to use more battery power, even mm. though, what's the difference for me going to bed with 30% or 20%? It didn't matter. And that's basically the difference I've noticed so far. So about every day you have to charge that phone, yeah. uh, the, uh, the watch now. Yeah, if I, if I went so eight, 18 every, hours, it would be dead. <laughs> so like literally every day, you got to have your phone charged and your watch charged. Otherwise, day number two sucks. Yes. All right. Yeah, everything just gets plugged in. And if someday they'll have wireless three, charging. I have three on, days out of my band on both, and, and they're all good. A week out of my Fitbit. So performance, the best thing. Both performance for both. in in the navigation. So they got rid of the stupid friends wheel, and they replaced it basically with a with a uh, a dock, right? And you just swipe across all the different apps. The other thing I'll, is all the different watch faces. There's more options now. There's more options for complications, which are those things on there. Um, like messages I couldn't believe they didn't have that as a complication before but text messages should be a button that I can mm. press and bring it up now it is and a lot of them are geared around fitness and so on but it's also very easy to flip between uh, different watch faces now I can just swipe so if you have one that you kind of use on the weekends like I do versus at work I just flip between the two a watch face yeah that's kind of cool and each watch face has different complications on it because I'm doing different things I don't nice. care about my meetings right, right. so it's very practical. I'm not going into settings menus to change my, my No, that's basically. actually a pretty nice uh, update. It's just all these little refinements, right? Yeah. So they've collected a lot of feedback from people just everyday use and stuff. And now they... Yeah, that makes sense. So I think between that and the, the workout app on it itself is good. Siri seems to be a little more intelligent and, and responsive. You're still tethered to your phone for this thing to be fully functional, obviously. But it seems a lot more useful and you're going to have your phone in well, your pocket. Well, I think the one complaint where people had their phone in their pocket was because they wanted GPS and accurate tracking and right. running and stuff. So if you get the new watches... That's why they came out with the new one. Yeah, the new watch, you have GPS, which is actually pretty good. Do I still need the phone in proximity? No, because I can run that and... It'll probably be more efficient if you have the phone. Sure, but if you don't... Yeah, I mean, for if you're running, biking, any of that thing, it becomes a lot your battery faster yeah yeah that's but fine. worthwhile update i'm sure everyone that had the watch has jumped all over it because it had everything we were asking for for the last two years there you go if you have an apple watch upgrade good luck with that okay.